Hey there. Early morning vlog. 7.48 in the morning. It's a little earlier than I usually get up and start talking. I was thinking about playing The Sims 2, but instead I want to make this. Because I got this fucking message from this guy, Tim. Who, actually, it was a pretty nice message, but near the end of the message it said, talking about the videos that I did, it says that it causes people to think, sometimes people don't do enough of, that... Unfortunately, what most people are probably thinking is that they'd like to kill you. I hope what you're doing doesn't get you hurt. Uh, I don't know that most people are thinking that they want to kill me. I hope not. I sent him a message. I sent you a message, Tim, and said, why do you think that people want to kill me? I mean, maybe people want to have a conversation with me. So you think, like, it builds builds. Like, the longer that people want to have a conversation with me and explain why they think what I said is not accurate, the more angry they get. And then that builds towards, in the past, you see it have, having built towards some violent behavior with, like, John Lennon. It was an obsessed fan that shot him because the person wasn't able to express themselves. And it built and built and built. And I think Lennon said things, too, like, I think he said once that if he ever gets to a place where he forgets why he's doing what he's doing for someone to shoot him. You know, John, he was all self-deprecating. He kind of brought his own death. I don't think people are, are thinking about killing me. I mean, people maybe get pissed off, but I, I humble myself, too. Huh. Dude, I've been really actually kind of afraid lately. The stuff, I made some really intense videos this last month, particularly this video I made about the sexual encounter uh, with a friend of mine, a guy, first time I ever had much in the way of sex with a guy, and it kind of pissed my opinions about it, it seemed to piss some people off. Then when I started talking about HIV, Actually, the way I started off that video, when I said HIV does not cause AIDS, I think that was too, too specific of a... It, it's, it's not necessarily... It's, it's that a more effective way to put that is that there's no scientific proof that HIV causes AIDS. There's, there's none. They don't have a study. They just see it, and they, they see the similarity in things, so they say that they believe that that's what it is. But they don't know. Nobody knows. That's why I want to question it. That's why I do question it. There's a big billboard now on Sunset that says, I am the cure for HIV, and so are you. And it's this guy who's been positive since 1984. And they have a website that I saw, but I forgot what it was on the billboard, so I gotta see it again and, and go to that website, something.org. Uh, but that, you know, HIV, it just seems to me like a big scare, this whole thing. It's like a retrovirus, so they didn't find the virus. They were like, oh, these people are getting so sick, there must be something causing it. There's a virus called HIV, we'll call it. Uh, immunovirus or whatever it is, HIV, this, this, but it's a retrovirus that reacts to a situation that the body comes to. When the body meets a certain criteria, the retrovirus takes action. It's not like it's a, a virus that's introduced into the system that just starts killing. Like HIV is present in every person, but whether or not it starts to affect us is up to us and what we do to our immune system, how how rough up, how rough we we get on our bodies. You can get really sick if you fuck yourself up. If you stay healthy, you'll be healthy. I'm not saying have a bunch of sex with people without condoms on, because that leads you towards unhealthiness in the body. Blood transfusion of any kind is a dirty, is an unhealth. Your own blood is as healthy as you make it. Then I think like, well, we have total control. And maybe you do. Maybe I've heard that you can have sex with 5,000 people. 
or that the chances of getting HIV from having sex is, is less than getting struck by lightning. You could have sex with somebody with HIV 5,000 times and not get it, or 500 times and not get it. Because it's like, you, you, you let it happen to yourself if you do, or you choose to let yourself remain healthy. I do believe that life is a painting that we create with our thoughts and with our words. Words are the greatest thing that humans have. The greatest thing that humans have available to them are their words. We've created words to express your concept. You can express everything you see and think through these words. So I believe that life is a painting all this stuff that happens is guided by our thoughts and our words primarily our thoughts so I'm willing to stretch the boundaries I'm not willing to have sex with someone that I know has a disease just to prove that I can stay healthy people have said that to me I'm not suicidal I'm not putting a gun in my mouth and pulling the trigger knowing that there's one bullet in the chamber But I see that belief affects reality everywhere I go, all the time. And that I'm willing to take that theoretical experience. This, it's a true, it's a, it's a theory I have based on my life experience. I'm willing to take that and stretch it to the boundaries of viruses, illness, health. I don't know why it's out of people's, some people's league that your own health and the health of the people around you is up to you. You can heal people. You can heal yourself. I don't know why people have issue with that. Why they, why they want to believe that the medical community is the only answer. That taking medicine and listening to doctors is the only way you can get healthier. It's not. You can get healthy. I don't like to say it's not. Because it is. It is. But the medical community is not the only way to heal. You can heal your body with belief. Healing, I mean, it's been in the human race, it's been part of human race and human culture since the beginning. It's never been like scientifically uh, blessed, not, not blessed, but uh, like when you give someone your blessing. It's never been scientifically uh, given the thumbs up. What is that called, that word, when, when science, science uh, rat, not ratifies, they dignify? Like when someone is uh, paying money for, for a product. When it, what's a commercial doing with a TV show? Endorsing. The scientific community does not endorse, or TV shows endorsing the commercial, rather, I suppose. Scientific community doesn't endorse homeopathic healing, but Hemeopathic, I, it's like I don't even know what the word means specifically, but I believe it fit when I just used it. I'll have to look that up. Hemeopathic. 